Hi everyone, in this video we are going to see about commodity breakout levels. By watching this video you can gain more knowledge about market. For that this video will be very helpful for you. Those who are new to channel kindly subscribe the channel and select the ring bell. By selecting the ring bell you will get the notifications of my videos continuously. By watching those you will be updated on the market. If you feel like the video kindly select the like button and share it. By selecting the name of this channel NSC Commodity Trader you will go to home page. In home page you can see more strategy and indicator videos. By watching those video you can gain more knowledge about market. We are also taking more advanced trading strategy class and we are also providing levels for commodity also. If you want to know about it you can watch a pack under the number. If you want to open your DMATA trading account kindly select the link in below description or contact the number. The account opening process and the guidance will be provided for you. Let's take a look at what happened in the commodity market. First one we are going to see is crude oil. In crude oil, as you can see, until yesterday the market was on a deep low, deep uh, down like that we can say. But during the evening time of yesterday and today also market made some recovery. During that recovery it came near up to 2200 range after that if you are seeing some falling in the market. Why a sudden uh, recovery? If you... A fundamental news came. After that news came, crude oil price started to moving in the up direction. At the first time, market started to falling because of the virus case. After the virus case, due to the low demand, price of the crude oil started to fall. And then Saudi and Russia also said in the OPEC meeting, they will not cut the supply, they will do more production like that. If they are going to do continuously to doing their regular production means, then there will be more supply in the market. Due to that only crude oil also has breached more than 2000 level according to our Indian market. But currently Trump has said yesterday like he will interfere this Saudi and Russia price war and he will solve this issue like that he has given some hint. After that hint market started to recover. During that recovery only During that recovery only crude oil started to rise and during that up moment only today it reached up to 2200 range. After that market again started to fall. So currently crude oil is trading at the 2080 range. According to current view 2100 will be the first level resistance for crude oil. So from this point you can see some uh, like how to say. For the next few minutes or few 30 minutes like that, you can expect some negativeness in the crude oil. But if crude oil break out this 2100 means you can expect the crude oil to be the uptrend and you can buy the crude oil and you can expect it in the upside also. But if it didn't even break this 2100 range means it is going to be a downside market. So according to this situation, crude oil is currently in selling trend only. Let's take a look at Jink what happened. Zinc morning made a good positive move. During that move, it came up up to 150 range. After it touches the 150, market started to falling. So currently, Zinc is facing a strong resistance near 150 range. If there is any breakout happened at 150 range, you can expect the Zinc to be in the uptrend. If there is no breakout, so from this level, you can expect the Zinc to be in the selling market, selling side only. If uh, Zinc started to rise you can sell the zinc and you can expert it in again in the downside selling market unless until if it break this 150 range it will not move upside or, or any positiveness for the zinc mini and then the next one is copper copper also made some quiet positiveness in the morning market during that time it even rallied up to 387 range but after that market started to more uh, like a sideways market more volatile market like that after that it made some uh, low cut so currently crude oil, copper is in selling trend only on further cut of 380 you can expect more in the downside market only copper so unless until copper made a strong move above 385 range it need to trade for quite a few minutes more than few minutes above 385 unless if it happening we cannot expect the copper to be in the upside because morning it made some strong resistance near 385 whenever it crosses 385 it again came back and then it started to fall currently it is ha having re some support near 380 but in overall trend if it break 380 at strongest it will go down only okay we are also taking more advanced trading strategy class and we are also providing levels for commodity also. If you want to know about it, you can WhatsApp or contact the number. 
in future if you want to see more videos like this means kindly subscribe my channel and select the ring bell